Thank you for joining us for our daily gospel reflection. My name is Maureen Demler. I'm a deacon at St. George's Episcopal Church in Clifton Park, New York. Let's begin with our collect for Tuesday of Holy Week. O oh God, by the passion of your blessed Son, you made an instrument of shameful death to be for us the means of life. Grant us so to glory in the cross of Christ that we may gladly suffer shame and loss for the sake of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Our gospel reading is from the gospel according to Mark, the 11th chapter, beginning at the 27th verse. Jesus and the disciples came again to Jerusalem and as he was walking in the temple, the chief priests and the scribes and the elders came to him, and they said to him, By what authority are you doing these things? Or who gave you this authority to do them? Jesus said to them, I will ask you a question. Answer me and I will tell you by what authority I do these things. Was the baptism of John from heaven or from men? Answer me. And they argued with one another. If we say from heaven, he will say, why then did you not believe him? But shall we say from men? They were afraid of the people for all held that John was a real prophet. So they answered Jesus, We do not know. And Jesus said to them, Neither will I tell you by what authority I do these things. Here ends the lesson. Where does Jesus get the authority to act as a cleansing royal judge as we heard he did in yesterday's gospel passage. Who does he think he is? As the religious authorities confront Jesus about the problem of his own authority, both they and we are aware that these concerns have smoldered since the beginning of his ministry. To the demanding question rendered by the religious authorities, who gave you this authority? Jesus responds with a rabbinic counter question. Historian Jiroslav Pelikan recalls an old story about a rabbi who was asked by one of his pupils, why is it that you rabbis so often put your teaching in the form of a question? To which the rabbi answered, so what's wrong with a question? Had Jesus been anointed at his baptism by John? And through the ministry of the Holy Spirit to behave in such a king-like way as the one who cleanses and saves with the power and authority of God's own Son. With Jesus' command, answer me, this dramatic encounter with Jerusalem's religious leaders is thrust beyond its original setting and into ours as well. It is both old and new. This encounter about the authority of Jesus belongs to the dynamic historical context in which it first happened. It also belongs to the ages. This story is not over, and we are part of it. This story is ours. We too must decide 
we too must answer. Is Jesus a crafty teacher and would-be authority? Or is Jesus the God life on earth? The challenge facing us today is humbly to realize that the human drama of history is played out in a larger frame of significance that is beyond our comprehension or imagination. Jesus' response to the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders, neither will I tell you by what authority I am doing these things, points to the challenge of acquiring awareness of one's own limits and a sense of humility. It begs for the honest confession that we are not that honest after all. Jesus' refusal to give an easy answer to the leaders of his day points to the lack of openness on their part even to consider the different realm whence comes the sense of wisdom and humility that overcome the belief in human mastery. By self-preoccupation, we become focused on our own power that often results in the false sense of human mastery. We come to the dangerous and destructive notion that we can indeed prove our absolute authority over our own life and world. The gospel message insists that God reveals God's self in history, personified in Jesus Christ. Those with faith in Jesus will recognize him for who he is. A person blinded by arrogance, pride, and self-love cannot hear the message. As we listen to Jesus, giving our undivided attention, as we search the heart of our own experiences of his authority in the days and years of our lives, we are moved by a spiritual conviction that the authority of Christ comes to us not so much as argument or debate, but rather as self-authenticating mystery that graciously gifts us with faithful eyes to behold and opened ears to hear. Amen. I'd like to close with the Collect for Palm Sunday. Almighty and ever-living God, in your tender love for the human race, you sent your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, to take upon himself our nature and to suffer death upon the cross, giving us the example of his great humility. Mercifully grant that we may walk in the way of his suffering and also share in his resurrection through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.